of rough and i'm sweaty here good morning and happy sunday to you guys um first of all i want to say that so uh, um there's a reason why i've not started going to church in case you guys are if you guys are wondering why i've not been to church and so very soon i'm going to start in church but for now every sunday we are going to be doing live we are going to be streaming live for the meantime okay so happy sunday to you guys happy sunday yeah good morning happy sunday so first of all i want to apologize to you guys i have really missed you guys i have not been uploading i have a whole lot for you guys but i'm busy with customer work it's like i'm producing these bags like this big size bags i'm producing 11 bags okay so i'm going to be doing five of these bags so um i'm going to be filming one of them anyway okay i'm going to be i would have loved to film everything but the fact that the customer is already saying i should deliver by next week i don't know if i'll be charged even if i'm going to be uploading i don't know if it's going to be that detailed so i apologize for that then after this bag production i'm all my other videos um, I've started listening to your complaints. Some of you said uh, my videos are beginning to um, are getting too fast that you cannot understand some of them. So I've listened to some of your complaints. So after this production, I'm going to be putting everything into consideration. All right. So we're going to be talking about a whole lot today about some of the measurements of this bag. Let me position this phone well. All right. So this is the recent one. This is a recent one and this is the side i've not finished the side you know, it's a big size toss bag i've not finished the size okay and this is the inside let me just um unclip everything so this is and then i will remove the zipper completely i don't know if you guys can see me very well i'm just going to be hastening up like so this height looks okay this height is so this is um the handle i think i remember when i did an handle like this on one of my stream i showed you guys how to do this handle that's why you should watch all my live stream i don't know why i'm sweating guys so dix okay so let me just show you the rest of them this one too i've not completed this this is the handle this one has this handle inside okay so this is the design for this one all right okay then this is the other one that I've produced. Okay, this is the other ones I've produced. They are so fine. I uh, mean, probably because they are on camera, you will be able to see the beauty of this bag. I don't know, guys. I'm so, so, so sweating. I'm so sweating. All right. So, good morning. So, I just came to show you guys what I have been up to. What I have been up to all right so by the grace of god by next week i'm going to um i'm going to complete this project and i will deliver them to the usa clients i have a lot of clients from the usa customer who patronize me on these africa made bags all right so the next project i'm going to be producing is going to be made with this print and i'm going to print two of these so i'm going to be filming one of these good morning yeah <laughs> Martin, yeah, I came because of you, <laughs> probably because of you. So the next project is going to be this, guys. I don't know why I'm sweating like this. I don't know why I'm sweating. So um, so just to update you guys that this are what I'll be up to. I've really seriously I've missed you guys. I really needed to start uploading now, but I'm beginning to make everything fast so that i can start uploading video for you guys so this is what i'll be up to and before i go into what i'm going to be talking about today i'm going to be showing you some few tools that i use for my production that are necessary for you to use okay if you're into bag making so before i go into that i want to remind you about the july online bag making course i want to say that um because i'm trying to put a whole lot of things together after getting these skills how you can sell 
how you can edit your pictures that's why it's taking that long i'm also putting um because what i'm doing i'm doing them intentionally so i can put your complaint and see how i can make it easy for you in that course so um if i'm able to meet up with everything before that july i might just shift the date forward okay i might shift the date forward all right how much see um Marty, please the cost um i'm not i can't lay my i can't say a particular price for it now because there are a lot of things okay by next month by next month i'll be able to figure that out by the grace of god before july we we do that course but i'm trying my best doing my possible best to make sure that i bring the best for you guys as you guys can see this is the machine i'm using Okay, this is the machine I'm using, this simple machine I'm using for, for these bags that I'm making, all my bags. And there are some bits of challenges, so I'm trying to figure out a way, like, way to simplify it for you guys, way to explain it for you guys. I don't just want to make a video that you guys will just buy, watch, and not be able to get anything. No, it's going to be a step-by-step -step, um, class. It's going to be, a, I want to simplify it as though you guys are um erroring or registry for a physical class i don't want it to seem as though it's an online class so it's taking this long but if before then i'm able to get everything together we will do it before that july we are going to do it before that july okay so i wouldn't want this class to be too long i actually brought out a lot of things i'm going to be showing you guys okay first of all when using this machine to sew when you use this machine, there are a lot of challenges that you're going to be encountering. Rather, sorry, encountering. So, one thing that you are going to remember, it's not easy. This match, this bags are professional looking bags, right? If I don't know if you can see, they are very, very professional looking bags. So, using a manute, a, a very simple machine like this to sew this kind of bag, you will know that it's not going to be a, an easy project. So, you definitely going to be encountering some challenges i wouldn't lie to you um so for me personally it's something i'm used to already so i remember when i first started using this machine though i have a, a machine i have an industrial machine that can sew through this thing easily the industrial machine i have guys is not a cylinder bear machine if you are getting an industrial machine get a cylinder bear machine it's an industrial machine but it's a flat screen um a flat surface machine just like this but it's an industrial that can go through hard bag studying bag okay but i decided not to use that for you guys because i'm only saying on my life i'm only saying on my video that i'm here for the beginners i know most of you now you cannot afford the industrial mansion so most of you have this so that's why i i am strictly using this i'm sticking to using this blackhead simple mansion so when sewing there are two things when you are sewing hard bags like this I'm going to be telling you some things you should always put at the back of your mind when using this kind of machine. The first one that you shouldn't forget is your needle, your sewing needle. I kept on, I think most of my life I'll be emphasizing on sewing needle for many times. Okay, so your needle size should be size 23 for this machine. It cannot take more than size 23. I've tried it. I tried using size 24, 25. It was not able to enter the hole. So if it was able, like if I was able to insert it into the hole, I think it would have been better. Because for industrial machine, you can use 26, 27, and they can go through hard uh, bags. So for this particular one, the way it's being made, the way it's being constructed, a size a, a size needle that is bigger than 23 cannot go through the hole okay so the highest that can it can carry is size 23 it's size 23 so make sure you have plenty of this needle so as you finish a bag as you finish a bag you you i will advise you to change to another needle because this but these bags are like they are stored in they are not meant for this kind of machine i'm not saying it's not possible it's very possible i've sewn about 300 bags hard bags with this machine i've sewn them and i've sewed them and it's very very possible that you as a beginner you might encounter some challenges so i'm trying to simplify it i'm trying to make it easy for you guys so the first thing you should put at the back of your mind is changing your needle constantly okay because as you are trying to as the needle is trying to poke into the bags you are sewing it's kind of blunting the pointed mouth it's blunting it if you use 
like if you use um what will i say now if you use a particular needle for more than two bags you must start having issues you might start it might not be able to go through it you must start having issues thinking that it's your machine that is the problem so but once you are able to do the right thing you might not face such challenges so make sure you have lots of needle like 10 needles close to you okay so by the time you are sewing you you as you saw a bag you should be able to change to another needle you should be able to change like be able to change sorry i'm going to be fast on my live uh, 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 stream sorry if i'm talking too fast even on so i'm going to be fast i have a whole lot of as i said I'm, i need um some bag to be delivered by next week so i have to go back to work so i'm just here to just give you some few tricks and um tricks and tips on how to sew your professional looking studying bag so make sure you change your needle as you sew a bag at least two bags you change to another new sharp needle another thing i want to talk about sorry i'm sweating that much is your plates your machine plates okay so you're going to need plates so this place when especially when you're sewing your hard bags they are likely so i don't know i would have i don't know if you guys can wait for me i would have showed you the one i use i i saw like three bags with it and before you know it started eating here this is the points that the, the needle passed through this is the points this is the hole that the needle passed through if you use this plate for at least two to three bags before you know it starts like it start getting rough here and once it start getting rough and um once it has started getting rough your thread your machine thread will start getting um cut on it like it starts framing your thread you just start, start having issues so once you need to, once you notice that it start it has started getting rough at this point that the needle is passing through your sewing needle is passed through please change okay change it i have a whole lot of them they are not expensive okay in nigeria currency is just 200 naira. 200 naira is like um way way less than a dollar okay so that means a dollar can buy like four four plates one dollar in usa can buy like four plates but in nigeria currency is 200 naira. please change it i know what i'm saying before i realized this mistake i started having issues with sewing i started having challenges with sewing or tea i was able to resolve the issue by always changing my machine plates so the two most important thing when using this machine because we are going to be spacing i mean laying our attention our focus on this kind of machine for your professional looking bags if you see that you you like them you like them and the first some people like most of my colleagues they call me are like most of my colleagues are very very professionals that i'll be into this bag making like how do i sew these bags with uh with this kind of machine even the industrial machine that is flat screen they kept us i mean they kept on asking questions i don't know why i'm blabbing i'm just trying to see if i can meet up with the timing okay i'm so sorry guys if i'm blabbing hope you guys are getting what i'm saying so most of them don't understand i'm able to sew my professional looking bags with this kind of machine okay but i want to tell you that it comes with its own challenges once you are able to figure out the challenges everything is going to go smoothly so i just made two points that your needle you have to change your needle and your uh, sewing needles occasionally when sewing you also also have to change your plate your machine plate because it's it's um it's going to be it's your machine um your machine needle is going to be um making this point that it goes through rough you are doing good thank you mas thank you thank you <laughs> thank you i appreciate so it's going to be making this point very rough as you sew as you sew so at least after say like three or four but you're going to notice that this point is it's rough this point that the needle is going through and if you keep on using the same plate you're going to be having some issues because your thread is going to be um getting caught on this hose okay so another thing i want to talk about if you are using a very simple machine there was a time i talked about it on one of my live stream i was talking about this uh, i think i did a an article i wrote an article that i sent to my community tab i also sent it to my facebook and my other platform where i talked about working foot okay so in nigeria this these are um machine tools that are not common but they are common in usa in uk and other countries okay these are some of the tools that are very very simple that you should have like 
you should have beside you when you are sewing all right this is a working foot okay so for instance i don't know if you are in sew bags already or if you are a new bag maker but if you are in sew bag you already have an experience about bag making you are sewing especially when you are sewing on leather bag you notice that some leather bags that you sew sometimes when you are sewing your machine is not able to sew through like it's it's like your machine is restricting trying to pull back when you are trying to sew so some when that some people solve such problems by putting machine oil on it even when i was sewing this ankara print okay because the inside is being stiffed and interfaced with leather i had to put uh, machine oil i think i've told you people once that you still have to put machine oil some people were like won't you stay it you just have to be careful i use a whole lot of machine oil yeah i use a whole lot of oil when i was sewing because the inside is be stiffed i mean interface with leather and if you don't know some of this tip and trick you will have issue take note we are using a very simple machine which is not meant for, you can see i see how hard it is in the same way you can also use it to sew you can also um use it to sew leather okay instead of using this africa print you can wrap it with leather i also use this machine okay you can wrap with any fabric and use the same machine to sew but you have to follow the due process you have to follow the tricks and the tips i've been doing this thing for over a long time and i've been able to figure out some of the trick and the tips that you need to do um to be frank as is here with you it's not going to be easy if you are a beginner one other thing i also i'm going to um say here is that some of you asking that this course um if what i'm going to be teaching is going to be um relating to people who have just the blackhead man chain guys even if you don't have the blackhead man chain even if you don't have a machine i'll advise you to get the experience first when i started before i got my machine I just have to put the bag together like this, and I'll go out look for a, a, a bag maker who has a cylinder bed, bed machine. I'll just pay like 500 naira, which is less than a dollar, to sew the side. You are still going to get your gain from it. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to have a black air machine before you buy a particular course. And aside from that, who says you are never, who says that you are never going to get a cylinder bed machine? Why don't you get the experience? Why don't you get the like there are a lot of things that go into bag making there are a lot of things that you have to know so you don't have to buy a course because you don't have the industrial machine you don't have the cylinder machine you can get the experience first when you are able to afford that machine you cannot start applying so don't say because i don't have this kind of machine i wouldn't buy a particular course that is no no for me okay so i have my industrial machine but i'm using this one because of you guys so the reason i will advise you it's even very advisable for you to use a cylinder bed machine because you are still going to get a way neater stitches to this i wouldn't lie to you so if you cannot afford that you can use this one for the main time to gather the money that you need to buy a cylinder machine a cylinder bed machine a sil or a cylinder hand machine is what professional bag makers use if you want to get a professional looking bag that is just the fact okay so for the lining of the bag you can get something like this so you can get a cylinder bed machine you can also get this side of the this type of the machine for the lining of the bag because if you are sewing the lining you wouldn't want your big uh, size needle that you use for your cylinder machine to pop big holes into your lining so this one too is also very very important okay but if if you can afford everything i'm just going to mention for machines that you should get if you can afford everything the very first one for a bag maker if you want to become a professional bag maker is a cylinder bed machine followed by this one for lining followed by a flat bed machine that is industrial you know what a flat bed is just that the face is flat a cylinder has a cylinder um post on it the, the one you call post okay if you have been following me i've did uh, i wrote an article i also did I, I sent some pictures if you are following me on instagram and if you have been going through my community tab you see that i'm updating you guys on this article on types of man chain for bag making so um you have the cylinder you have the flat bed the flat bed you have the cylinder which is industrial that one comes mainly in industrial form you have the flat bed which can be industrial as well as this this is also a flat bed right then you have the post bed. 
The post bed, you can also use it for bag, but mostly it's mostly used by shoemakers, people who make our uh, footwears. All right. So um, if you have, let me just um, leave that for now, because once I'm through with this, I'm still going to be doing some articles or a mini blog about these things so that people get familiar with them so if you have not sent your email address please do because once i finish with this project i'm going to be updating you guys about some stuff i'm just going to be writing some articles so you get familiar with bag makings so if possible i can be sending some pictures so that it can make it easy for you guys to understand how this bag making things go i also send some tutorials that are specific to that email list alone that's why i'm emphasizing on that email list but you have to be interested in that bag making course please I don't want to take too many people. I, I, I want to take people that I can monitor. People I will be able to follow up, okay? After the course, you should be able to lay a complaint to me and I should be able to do a live video uh, a live video with you. See what you are doing, what you are doing right and what you are doing wrong. I should be able to send you short videos until you are able to get it right, okay? So I want you guys to be proud of me. When I say a course, I want you guys to come again when I have that design. I want you guys to talk about me outside. So that's why this course is taking this long. So make sure you send your email um, address. I've heard some person saying, I think two or three person have called that like they don't want to send their email address. They heard that email address can be used to scam. And I say, okay, if you are not comfortable in sending your email address, which I can never do, uh, why would I want to scam you guys? Okay, so if you're not comfortable with sending email addresses, you can also reach me on my WhatsApp. Just indicate you are interested, then I will add you up. Okay, so let's not talk about the cost too much. Maybe with time, we're going to be emphasizing on that. So I was talking about this, that there are some leather you sold because of the nature leather comes in different natures. There are some false leather or synthetic leather that you sew that it's easy, some of them, it's easy for you to just sew through, right? Why some of them, when you are sewing, you notice that it's kind of, it's pulling back. Can I say it on WhatsApp? Yes, you can, man. Of course, you can. All right? So, you notice that this, these leathers are pulling back, okay? If you have been sewing back for a long time. So, I'm actually talking out of experience. You notice that your machine is, your machine is not passing through. It's because of the nature of the leather, okay? There are different types of leather uh, fabric that you use. So if you notice most of those foreigners, okay, use this. This is called a, a working foot, okay? For industrial machines, naturally, they come with their own working foot. The kind of food they have are all working foot. But for the blackhead machine, they don't come with working foot, okay? So if you want to make your sewing easy, I have two of these. I got this from Amazon. I got the other one from uh, AliExpress, okay? If you want to make your work easy, you get this working foot. It just goes through it, okay? But if you don't, if you cannot afford it, if you cannot buy it, or if you cannot get access to it, because I know it, you cannot get this to buy in Nigeria, but it's in USA, you can order for it and to be shipped to you. I got this from Amazon, all right? You can apply oil on your leather. It works fine. It still works fine. It still works fine. But some people say it might get your work stained. But if you are scared of that, just get a working foot. So this is another thing that you need to to get if you are a bag maker all right so we've talked about the needle that you should change needle often especially when you are sewing the professional looking bags okay and you want to get the, this kind of outcome make sure as you sew at least two bags you change your needle so that um you don't start having issue with your machine because your needle definitely is going to be getting blunt because you're not sewing a soft material you're not sewing a soft fabric you are sewing a very i don't know how to say this thing again yes can you see you are sewing a very hard bag right so we just have to follow these tips there are a lot of tips guys there are more than 20 tips there are more than 20 tips okay so you have to follow this guide i also talked about the plate okay so it's very easy to lose this is the plate here so once you notice it's eating here you take your screwdriver this one if you also have this then you lose it from it very very easy a novice can do this an amateur can do this. just lose it here then you place it there and use your screwdriver to tighten it back okay then you are good to go all right so what other thing you are going to need uh if you are in usa if you are in um indian i have a whole lot of subscribers that's why i keep measuring this name if you are in uk make sure you get your double-sided tape okay double-sided tape are very 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 uh, cheap to get in amazon in ebay 
and um, AliExpress, they are very, very cheap. Uh, very soon, I'm going to be um, creating my website, okay? And also, I'm going to be leaving links on my um, on my about page, on my description, so you can click on these links and buy. Uh, these are some of the things I'm working with. The links I'm going to be leaving, um, a disclaimer I want to say here is that these links are people that I have actually bought from, okay? Because I... I know that some of you are scared of buying from people, uh, especially these online stores. You are scared of from from buying from them. But I've bought from them. I can actually refer you people to these places, especially on Amazon. I, I don't think there are many scammers on Amazon. You can get your things from Amazon. Later, if um, any of you are if you are watching me now and you want, I, I would have loved to talk to you guys about somebody I referred to. The person is on you is in USA. So she talked about not having, not knowing the right cement gum, gum to use for a bag. So I referred, I refer a particular um, vendor to her, and she bought that gum. And she said, "No, this she has never done any bag before." I was so so grateful. I was so happy yesterday the way she sent the picture of the bag she made. Somebody has never done a bag, okay? So because some of you, are, especially those of you who are in USA, who say you can't get some of these materials to buy, I've actually did a research for you and i found out that all these materials are in where you feel you can't get them to buy. especially on amazon you have your marco also the eva foam also known as eva foam there you have your cellulose board and this person used just the cellulose board not that's not as thick as the marco and our work turned out very fine if you want me to send a screenshot of our work i will show it to you at first she used ordinary carton and the work was looking rough and i told her no carton is not strong and she told me she she has never done it before she wanted to just practice with carton and she used it and she was looking rough i said no other cheap board from amazon and she did and if you see her work it was looking as smooth as this somebody who has never done bag and the reason why she, her work was looking like that because she followed an instruction i gave to her when i did um a live stream i told you guys that if you are a beginner you are making bag you are not getting it right please screenshot your your process and send to me and she did the exact same thing i have to guide her out to she able to get it right i this is what i promise to do and I, I will never relent in it if i say screenshot your work just do it i'm willing to guide you okay i'm not saying that i know it all i'm not saying that i'm a <laughs> i i know i know everything so the little i know okay <laughs> let me say not say the little i've been in this thing for several years okay i know i'm good all right what is the size of the red bag okay it's the same size i'm using the same size if you followed me last year uh, last week you know that i made measure of the size it's the same size this is about um i can't remember now please what you first um what you first life then you know i think this should be about 15 this should be about uh, no in width it's 50 and in length is 12 and a half yes in width it's 50 and in length is 12 and a half that is the size it's a big tote bag size all right okay so if you have been following me so i thought i had to screenshot the process sent to my whatsapp and she did exactly the same thing somebody who has never done bag making before somebody who has never done bag making and if you see what she came out with it was so so fine so um, nice thank you ma'am it was so so fun please make sure if you're a beginner make sure you screenshot your process and say to me i'm ready to guide you guys okay please do that so this usa based customer of mine she's going to buy this course too she used cheap board and she was able to get cheap board to buy she was able to get the cement cutters to buy please if you are in usa the gum i use which is the top bond which most uh, bag youtuber call is not found in usa you can't get in the uk because this gum that we use in nigeria is specific to nigeria it's, it's, it's a brand that has been made in nigeria so it, it might be it, it might be confusing when they make measure of this name okay so there is a particular name these things have been referred to if you are in the usa okay so just chat me up if you don't know the right uh, place to go i'm going to give you if you're in nigeria i'll give you cutouts um some pieces cutouts where you can buy this things from and if you are in other country like the usa i'll give you cutouts where i'll give you link 
okay especially on amazon and ebay where you can get these things from all right so um i think we've talked a whole lot i was also want to talk about this board this board okay so if you are making bag you are going to be needing a board all right because you are going to be for instance you are going to be using your hammer to eat some certain parts of the bag you are going to be cutting and you're going to be doing a lot of things if for instance you are cutting i would advise you to get a mat okay get a mat a mat so that you don't damage the surface of your table so if you are going to be eating all the time please do not eat on your table you get this plank okay this is a board a cutting board you get this board so these are some of the tools you should have okay in nigeria it's like less than um a dollar it's one thousand naira in nigeria for us in usa it's less than a dollar get a board okay or you can also get a mat the green mat you can get a mat so i also want to talk about my bottom my base the back base or the bottom um the bottom part of the bag all right i mean this part of the bag okay so if you know one thing i should say that you know as you make bag you begin to actually discover some processes love the purple oh thank you ah, they are so you have to see the colors like they are all they are all fine they are all very very fine no i have not finished the bag they are all very very fine okay they are fine so when i finish i'm going to be showing you guys all right so if okay so i was saying that you should okay okay this bottom this is the bottom part of the bag all right so as you are doing these things you you, you begin to learn what like you begin to learn things every day you become creative every day all right so you learn every day that's what's the word i'm trying to look for so before now when i fit whenever i fit my bottom feet i don't used to use this um tape here i don't use tape here but I discovered the very first time I used tape, I discovered that it gives it some kind of durability, okay? So I started using tape. So once I fix or install my bottom feet, okay, I just use my tape to just, I put the tape, so I just place the tape on it, okay? I use the tape. So you need a tape, you need a tape to kind of secure your bottom stud. So I'm just, I'm also going to be doing review on some hardware's. Take note, these button stores are not original button stores, please. They are likely to break. They are likely to break. So this client of mine is not willing to pay for the ones that are quality. So um, I'm going to be, with time, I'm going to be doing reviews on the hardware I use. I'm going to be doing reviews on the fake ones and the real ones. So there are also some ones that come with screw. You don't get most of this hardware in Nigeria. You have to order them online. Okay, I have some of them. So I'm also going to be putting some of them on my um, my website very soon. So there are also some bottom feet that come with screw. They are durable as well as you can screw them. So this one's the way they are, the props. It's just made of props. So when you fix it, sometimes you'll be, when you are sewing, if you are not careful, they start pulling out. So they are not durable. So the point I want to make, I'm not talking about the durability today. Is that when you, after fixing installing make sure you secure i don't know if you can see this tape this is the tape i use so make sure you get this tape okay so i you just use this tape to secure it this tape has other functions for instance so you need to get it sorry i just i'm just being fast right i'm sorry for instance this bag is going to come with a strap an adjustable strap and the strap is going to be inside i don't know if you can can you see the strap here inside i didn't want to put it outside let me show you this one let me show you this one that's what i mean okay this strap this one also has a strap right so this strap when you are trying to present it to your customer when you've arranged everything you want to deliver it to your customer you don't put the strap in the bag you fold the strap and use a double-sided tape to wrap the strap okay to make the packaging very presentable so you are going to need this tape okay so it has its own function all right so um what else okay we've talked okay before i talked about this fake okay this fake um i don't know i think they are called props please i'll figure out the name then i'll put it on the description so i can't remember i used to remember the name so it has it has they have escaped me the names has escaped me 
So another thing you are going to need um, for now, you need a whole lot. Okay, these are just some of the things I'm going to be talking about today. Not going to take much of your time. It's your pegs, your clips. Okay, you need them. You need them because there are some time. There are some time. The truth of the matter is, when you are sewing with this man chain, that's why I say when you have money, when you can afford it, please get a cylinder bear man chain. Because when you are sewing, eh, you are going to be squeezing your bag. You are going to be full because there are times that the way the machine is built, the way the sewing this particular machine is built, when you are sewing the gusset of your bag, there are times that match it won't be able to go through until you fold it, until you press it. You just man over man adored it. Okay, because of the way it's built compared to a cylinder machine that is just a post, you don't understand you can sew through that one, it has a whole lot of space. But with this type or with a flatbed industrial machine, yeah, okay, thank you, my leather old porch. Okay, <laughs> she said it's leather old porch for this. Okay, so if you have a cylinder bed machine, I don't think these are necessaries. Okay, there are some type, there are some times that you'll be sewing, some parts will not be sewn. Or you just because of the inadequacies of this inadequacy of this, you just need this. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this later. All right. So I was talking about this that when you are sewing, you are going to be squeezing it. You are going to be folding. You are going to be man adhering it. Like because of the way the machine is built. Though after everything, when you iron it, is the thing going to stay in place? So when you are sewing like that and you are folding, turning everything, the, man, the bag is definitely going to be squeezed. All right, it's going to be squeezed. So in that case, you don't um, you don't fret, you don't don't be scared. All right, it's because of the kind. Sorry, my battery is my phone is running out of battery right now. It's because of the kind of machine you use. Okay, so in that case, you just have to be careful. Um, because the bottom fits, if you're not careful, um, if you if you mishandle it too much, the bottom fit must start pulling off. So I would advise you if you want to sew and you want to fit your bottom fit, please use a bottom fit that has screws. Those ones are very, very expensive. They are durable and as well as being expensive. These ones they are very, very cheap. Use that one, especially when you are using this. But when you have a cylinder bed machine, these are no issues at all. You don't have any issues. Okay, so I was going to talk about clips. <laughs> I don't know why I keep changing topic. Okay, I was going to talk about clips. So your clips are very necessary because there are some time you, you, you apply gum. Even after using your double-sided tape or you're applying your cement adhesive um, cut out, by the time you are sewing, because of the way the machine is built, you discover that sewing the gusset, the, the, the gusset is going to be pulling away from the main panel, okay, because of the way you are adling it for you to be able to sew through this machine, okay. If you have a cylinder bed machine, you don't have an issue. I'm talking for people who have this machine because most of the clients I have, most of my followers have this type of machine. I know some, some of you still have a cylinder bed machine, okay. If you have this machine, I'm talking for you. And so by the time you are sewing, you discover that it's pulling away from it. It's not the gum is not holding it too well because you are misadling it too much. So um you have in that case you have to clip it all all around, even when you have used your uh, double-sided tape, you have used your cement gum, you still have to clip. So you need clips for your bag making, but if you want to get clips, please, these are not the right clips to get. I used to have clips that I ordered from um, Amazon, all right? These clips, they are very minute clips. I think there's a specific, specific name for them. It comes in different color, okay? They are very minute, are very, very strong. Not these plastic ones, these ones are not strong. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be leaving links on where you can get these things that, you, that are good for bag making. These are not strong, please. If you are not in Nigeria, do not get this kind of clips. I understand most of those things. You don't get them in Nigeria, especially when you need them urgently. So the reason most time we don't have this is that for you to ship from uh, like a USA or from AliExpress, it takes like a month or over a month. So you don't feel that the best thing to do is just to go and get these ones that you can get around your stores, around your environment. But do not get clips like this. 
uh, what I'm trying to say is that clips are very important, necessary in your bag making. But when getting, please do not get clips like this. Get hard clips. There are some um, clips that are very, very strong. So get them. Because when you are sewing, you're going to be using them to hold your gusset. All right. As I said before, because of the way the machine is, by the time you are trying to fold it, so make sure it's so through the gusset, they are going to be moving apart. They are going to be moving apart. And you don't want to be, you are trying to sew at the same time, trying to put them together. It's going to be like a double challenges. Or a double challenge. All right. <laughs> English is hard. Okay, it's going to be like a double challenge. So you wouldn't want such an issue to arise when you are sewing, right? Because when you, even when you use your double sided tape, you notice that when you are sewing, they are moving apart. It's kind of frustrating because you are using this kind of machine. You are trying to sew around. They say that they are moving apart. So you, to avoid that, please get clips that are strong. So even when you've used your gum or you use your double sided tape, this is not a double sided tape, but a double sided tape is just like this, right? search for it double sided tape like there's like there's gum on both sides you can use it even when you've used your gum your cement gum or you've you've used your double sided tape you can also use clip to clip them all around then you are good to go with your matching with your sewings um these are things that you should have you don't have to buy everything at once okay you don't have to you can be buying them little by little if you are a passionate bag maker bag making is interesting there are a lot of things you gain now the way it is now people make money let me just quickly talk about bag making people make a lot of money through bag making now these days you don't have to just sew bag you don't have to make money from bag making you can carry out a course let me tell you i have a friend that within two days she made like seven million era what did she do she sold the template bag making templates okay as pdf so that people outside her country she's in nigeria can print these things out okay there are a lot of things that you cannot do with bag making if it's not good specific to bag making alone with your skills skills like you acquiring that skill is very important like the civil money aside from selling because there's money in bag making there's money in it and it's fun it's fun it's for the only aspect that can be discouraging is sewing if you are using this kind of machine it's sewing but if you know the tips and the trick it's easy but if you have a cylinder bed sewing is enjoyable <laughs> if you have a cylinder bed machine sewing is very enjoyable you can just put everything together when you sewing before you know you have sewed through it with the right equipment when you have the right equipment sewing can be very very enjoyable but when you are using um a, a kind of machine that is like this, you don't know the tips you don't know the tricks you don't know the secrets you will start having issues. I've had a whole lot of you calling me like, and they have after putting everything together, they want to sew the gossip, they could not. I said before that, why don't you do the PDF? Yes, I need a laptop. Okay, I need a laptop. I really want to do all of this. It's money. First of all, uh, what I'm aiming at is to get that cylinder bed machine. I don't have the cylinder bed machine. Okay, personally, I have a whole lot of investment. I have a shop that I'm aiming at. I have some guests that I'm paying. So I have a whole lot of investment. So first of all, it's to get that cylinder bed machine. For now, in Nigeria, it's 317000 in Nigeria. Uh, keep it oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Happy Saturday, sir. All right. So it's three hundred and seventeen thousand naira to get that machine. So after getting the machine, I'll definitely get a laptop where I can create that pattern. So you can create the patterns and you can start making a lot of there are a whole lot of things that you can make money from in bag making you can set the course you can set the template so as i said before this lady within two months she made about seven million era selling patterns she sold it to about three thousand like these are things that you should do so if you don't have to be you don't have to think less of when you're making but you think less of it you feel that there's no money in it there is if you are doing it in the right way all right so um for martin who just asked why didn't i do the pdf of course i'm going to do that i'm planning towards that but i need a laptop to do that okay i need a laptop i cannot do that when i don't have a laptop i can't be going to the cafe it's something that takes months to do so i need a laptop but these are just gradual things that i will have to do it's like a step-by-step -step, uh, process all right so um i said i'm going to go back to my work very soon sorry if i'm talking too fast all right i just want to quickly just update you guys about the course 
make sure you say your email address that course is coming up in july as i said it might even come up earlier than okay 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 i've seen it it might come up earlier than the time all right because i see some of you on my whatsapp asking me telling me that the time the timing is too much all right it might come or just that i'm taking my time to plan for that course all right because something that i want to say that you guys i want you guys to come back to patronize me so um say your lot of applications on my phone i'll have to just remove some okay before it goes off again um happy sunday once more let me see if i can plug it i don't know why it's going off let me plug it happy sunday once more to you guys all right and have a blessed day have a blessed day and before i go um before i put it off i will Reminds I like I want to say it again. That course. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you too. So that course, um, <laughs> the course, um, make sure you put it in mind. Do not forget. It's something I'm working towards. It's something that you are going to gain value from. It's something that you are going to gain much from. I'm putting in my best. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Have a blessed day, man. And my regards to your family. If you have any challenge, please WhatsApp me. You can always chat me up and I will respond to you, ma'am. So it's something I'm working towards. Please make sure, make sure you register when it's time. Uh, I'll keep up, I'll keep on updating you guys about the course. Okay, so I'm just going to go off now. I'm going to um, stop or end this um, live, live stream. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blabbling. So I'm going to edit this live stream now to go back to my work. On Sunday, by the grace of God, by God's doing, I'll see you guys. Love you guys so much to the moon and to the back. Uh, that um to me somebody I don't want to say what the person did. She sent me a gift from the US. Thank you. I appreciate. All right. Thank you for all of you sending me comments. I appreciate it. Comment like on my WhatsApp. I, one of these days, I'm just going to screenshot it. To see. So for for you for for the other persons, um, the others, um, some of my other subscribers to actually see what um um what the other. I don't know. Sorry. For some of you to see or be aware of what other. People are saying about me okay i know it's not necessary but you just have to you just have to see and you just have to read okay some of these days i'm just going to screenshot it like a whole lot of you are sending me appreciative message a whole lot of you are commending me like sometimes when you present this message i just feel like tearing up i feel like crying like some of you will go to the extent of sending me gifts like i don't know i don't know so i'm grateful i'm grateful that's why when i have not thank you spend all my day watching thank you man thank you for watching that's why when i i i don't upload for like two weeks three months i feel bad it's not a bad day place the the fact that i've missed you guys because of the glove that you guys have been showing me the support and everything i want to say thank you i want to use this opportunity to say that i love you guys to the moon and to the to the moon and back right okay that frame <laughs> the phrase is it correct okay i love you guys to to the moon and back i love you guys so much much and i say god bless you guys for your support you guys are the one that keep me um that keep me uh how will i say it um that you're the one that keep encouraging me to upload video you're the one that keep um you just keep they say way that you guys keep pushing me motivating me to do all of these things all right god bless you people and bye have a nice time see you on sunday make sure you are here on sunday bye